Hi, welcome to Winter with the Seasons Leadership Podcast, where we celebrate this time to go deep, transform your leadership journey. We will bring you actionable advice to improve your leadership and your life today. Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Debbie. And thank you for joining us. At Seasons Leadership, we share a vision to make excellent leadership the worldwide standard. Learn more at seasonsleadership.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Seasons Leadership Podcast. Today, our topic is love and leadership. This is a fun one. It is fun and happy Valentine's Day for people. Yeah, super appropriate because Valentine's Day. (laughs) Listening Um, on Valentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) So I wanted to say as we start this off, love and leadership are not generally two words you use, hear used simultaneously, right? So um, in fact, in back in the day, if you use the word love in the workplace, that was probably a death knell for your career. No kidding. But but <laughs> Debbie, what does love have to do with leadership? Love has everything to do with leadership in my book, really. Yeah. Um, if we think so we're all about leadership excellence, right? And increasing that across the world. One um, attribute I would say of a excellent leader Mm -hmm. is that they treat everybody well and that they bring out the best in the people that they are leading because they understand them. They know them, they um, know what they bring to the table and they want to capitalize on that. And if you think about it, If you don't like somebody, how much attention are you going to pay to what they bring to the table? None. Because you don't like them. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you can change your mindset and say, I love this about Susan, what Susan brings to the table is all these skills that she has, and she's really good working with people. So now I've changed my whole mindset because I'm coming from a, a place of love instead of a place of dislike or right. apathy. Well, and it's it's like it's a higher level of thinking and feeling. So mm-hmm. if um you know we can love our neighbor, right? And we love people because they're people and we respect them and we honor them as people. I mean as leaders, we we don't have to like everybody. <laughs> I mean, right. that's it. we're human, but we do. Ha- I mean, I feel like excellent leaders do love everybody at a, at that human level and respect everybody and, and want them to contribute to their fullest extent. And leaders can provide a environment or a culture that fosters everybody to thrive. And that takes love. You got to get out of your own way. It's not about winning. It's not about being the best. It's about providing a culture, an atmosphere, a context, so everybody can show up their best. Absolutely. Everybody can. And um, I just keep coming. Well, it's a value of ours Mm -hmm. in Seasons Leadership Love is. And when we were going through our values exercise, we're like, oh, do we we feel this. Do we put this card down? Do we not put this card down? I don't know. We did. Yes, we do because it's part of who we are and how we show up. And, um, I remember a time when I was leading a group and I was relatively new leader for this group, not a new leader, but a new leader at this organization. And one of the people on the staff came to me and this person was very upset with somebody else in the staff and just saying, why don't you just fire them? Why don't you just get rid of them? They add no value here. They're horrible. They're blah, 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 you know, all these things that were going wrong. And I could tell this person had a really bad experience with this other individual. And so I tried to get to the bottom of it. But even before that, I told this person, I said, I believe that everybody brings something to the organization, something good everybody does. Mm -hmm. And that's the belief I'm going to start with. And I'm going to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Now, if they later prove that they're not a good fit for the organization or the culture, as you said, and the mindset, then it may be time to part ways. But 
that's not where I start. I start from everybody has something, some value that they bring to the team. This person was having none of it. No, they do not. They are a worthless human being. They do not belong on the oh, earth, kind gosh. of. That's a, <laughs> kind that's of a rough one, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I will say that it has a happy ending. You know, I like yeah. stories with a happy ending. Even Disney stories start out something <laughs> negative, you know, Bambi's mm-hmm. <laughs> parent dies and, you know, Mufasa dies and Lion King, you know, there's, there's always yeah. bad things in life, but I like the happy ending. And th- the moral of this story was this person who came to me, I later heard them, they went on to another group, not through anything bad happening. They just got an opportunity, went to a different group. And they were, um, one of the people that was working for them then came to me and said, I really like this list of things this person put out as a leader. And they said, everybody brings value to the team. And I was like, yay, it worked. Um, But that doesn't mean it was easy. I just said it and they accepted it. It it wasn't that easy. But for me, having had to learn that the hard way also, I'm even more convicted about giving people benefit of the doubt. And that comes from a place of love. So that links love and leadership right there. Right. And I don't think, you know, uh, love and leadership doesn't mean soft or weak or you're a pushover. You know, I think, I think when I feel the the strongest love is I want to be honest and truthful, um, to the people that I love because I love them. I want them to know the truth. And so, uh, I find that I can give better feedback to people that, you know, I have this overall, you know, feeling of, of love for them and it's respect, um, because I want them, I want them to know what I know. Uh, and when you give feedback, even tough feedback uh, from that place, it's a lot easier to hear and accept. Absolutely. And you can feel good as a leader that you have approached it from the right angle, right? That you're not being vindictive or being mean or, or trying to hurt somebody. You are trying to help them by sharing this information with them. Right. I mean, what that brings to mind for me, uh, you know, we're in winter, we got through uh, Christmas season, but um, there's so many versions out there of Charles Dickens yes. uh, Christmas Carol. Right. And so um, one thing that always comes up for me in that is uh, when the nephew Fred comes into Scrooge's office yeah. And he's like, happy Christmas, uncle. And, and Scrooge is like, what have you got to be happy about? You're poor and, you know, can't be. Yeah. and so that whole conversation, Fred is coming from a place of love. This is yeah. his family. This is someone he loves, even though he was a very unlovable guy, he was, right? He was hard to love. <laughs> he was hard to love, but yeah. Fred loved him. And he's like, this is my uncle. And I'm going to keep coming and telling you Merry Christmas and bringing a wreath. And, um, it's, to me, that's what it maybe feels like as a leader yeah. when you're, it's not that you're optimistic all the time about everything, but it's that you're coming from your heart right. when you are interacting with other people. And yeah. that, to me, that just makes all the difference well, in the difference between an okay leader and an excellent leader. I totally, I know, I, I know we're running to the end on this, but there are leaders that I have really admired in my past and really I think the the difference is when I talk to them or they um, gave me direction or anything um, I felt like I was really important to them you know regardless of the spread in in levels you know they could have been way higher than me but I it thought that, wow, I'm important and I've got it. I've got a place in this organization and what I do is needed and valuable. And I tell you, when I feel like that, when I'm feeling love, right? I mean, we didn't say it that way, but that's what I'm feeling. You know, I'm, I would move mountains for them. Right. So because you knew they cared. Right. About you as a person. 
Exactly. Right. Well, so what's one piece of advice, actionable advice we can give our listeners to do with love and leadership? Well, how do and what do you have any? I do. I do have one. Oh, good, good. So if you find yourself listening to this as a leader and you want to work towards excellence, it's going to be important that you're coming able to come from that position of love. So think about um, how you show up every day in the workplace and where you're coming from when you do that. And if you're coming from a place for your heart rather than your head all the time, you're on the right track. Uh, if you find yourself coming out of your head all the time, do something that will make you focus more on your heart. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah, and I would say spread the love. Wherever you go, spread some love. <laughs> no better ending than that. So yeah. to everybody from Seasons Leadership Podcast, Debbie and Susan, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you listeners for joining us today. We hope that you were inspired by this conversation. And we invite you to join our community on Patreon. See the link below. There you will find more resources to help you on your leadership journey. Make sure to join us next time for more conversation about leadership excellence.